Welcome everybody to my channel, Ron Wiestfeld here, brokered by eXp Realty. Today we are going to talk about military talk. So for any of you agents out there looking at expanding your market and getting into the military relocation side of it, this video will be for you. We'll also have some more videos coming down working with VA home buyers and working with military sellers. So to start off and kick this off, the first one we're going to start with is PCS. So what does PCS stand for? Permanent Change of duty station. So this is when the service member gets their orders and taking them from the duty station that they're in currently and moving them to a new duty station. Those orders will also have their spouse if they're married in there to pay for the cost of moving the spouse as well. The next one we'll jump into is ETS. So ETS stands for expiration time of service and that is when the service member is now getting out of the service they've done their time four years ten years twenty years their time is up and now it's time for them to get out of service uh, during this time they will also be clearing their installation and shipping their household goods if they are moving back to their home of record or wherever they decide to move the next one you'll need to know it's TLA Temporary lodging allowance. So this is for a service member who's PCSing or if they got like a school coming up or something like that. But as for an agent, typically to deal with a service member PCSing. So this lodging allowance that they'll get will cover the cost of their food, uh, the hotel that they're staying in, and they'll get this while they're looking for a home. So if that's them waiting for... Uh, waiting to get like into on-base housing or rental property or if they're purchasing they'll get t they'll have tla to offset their cost until they get into their new permanent housing another one that's good to know is a va certificate or also called a letter of eligibility this letter allows the veteran to know what benefits he's entitled to and how much of those benefits he's entitled to. So this letter is going to have to be used a lot of times with lenders so they know is the veteran entitled to their VA home loan benefits because depending on how they left the service they may not be entitled to that benefit. So this letter will allow the lender to know and they'll ask for it. So when working with a VA home buyer you can also let them know that hey the lender is probably going to need a VA certificate or letter of eligibility and a lot of times the lenders are able to pull those themselves the veteran doesn't have to do it. The next one we're going to go in is COLA cost of living allowance so this depends on the duty station you're going to. Some some will have COLA some won't. Hawaii they're one with COLA and that cost of living allowance is to offset the cost of living here because places like Hawaii that have a high cost of living their base pay and BAH isn't going to cover it and we'll go over what base pay is next, but it's not gonna cover their cost of living, so the DOD gives additional funds to offset their costs, but when they leave those high cost areas, they'll lose that COLA, and then each high cost area will have a certain amount of COLA deemed for that area. It can also be if a duty station is so far away from the nearest town as well they may get they'll get cost of living allowance as well uh, that can also be factored into their their housing situation and all that stuff so something to know cost of living allowance see if your area has it if if it does great if it doesn't it just means that it's either closer to it's close enough to the nearest town or you don't have a high cost of living in that area the next one's going to be geographical bachelor. So what is a geographical bachelor? Well, that is a service member who went to a new duty station but didn't bring their spouse with them. Uh, a lot of times this will be because they, the military will not allow you to bring your spouse to certain duty stations due to the risk factor at those duty stations. But you can also be a geographical bachelor if you're going to a your normal type of uh, duty station like within the states and stuff however uh, when you do this know that the service member is not going to get 
two BAH payments. The military will not pay for two homes. So they're gonna primarily pay for, give you BAH for the area that that service member's in. And, but that can vary too if the service member is at a certain rank, uh, typically E5 and below, then you're looking at going into a barracks. E5s may be a chance they won't because uh, they are a non-commissioned officer if the barracks are full, but for the most part, typically in the barracks, it's gonna be E5 and below. Uh, then E6 and above uh, are authorized to rent off post. So with a geographical bachelor, they're gonna to have to look at either renting or buying off post uh, for that. But that's what a geographical bachelor is. It's someone, it's a service member who had moved but did not bring their spouse with them. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you found this information helpful. If you like this kind of content, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Also, uh, down below, if you have any questions, please let me know. This has been Ron Wiestefeld here, brokered by EXP Realty. And stay tuned for the next videos. Aloha.